This is Jim Keady, the Director of Educating for Justice here on the shores of Lesbos, Greece, on the front lines of the refugee crisis. Saturday morning here in Lesbos and I, along with dozens of other international volunteers, are waiting along the coastline to see if any refugees will attempt to make the boat crossing from Turkey in the background here to the shores of Greece. It's estimated that there are up to two million refugees that are currently in Turkey, and today hundreds, could be thousands, might risk death to make the journey across the sea here in the hopes of having freedom in Europe and beyond. Uh, I was speaking to one of the volunteers from the United Nations who had shared with me that in the last few months, more than 500,000 refugees have made this crossing. In 1907, when there was the first big push of immigrants into the United States, one million refugees came to the shores of the USA. Half of that have come here to Lesbos. Lesbos has become the Ellis Island of this particular crisis and this push for, for immigration. Uh, we have to ask ourselves as Americans how we want to respond to this crisis in an ever-globalizing world. Do we want to open our doors to allow some of these refugees to settle in the United States, to build new lives for themselves and their families? You know, I think for myself, I come from a family that had immigrants from Ireland and Poland. I did not earn my right to live in the United States. Luckily, my ancestors had the courage to make that journey, and the United States welcomed them in. Are we, as Americans, going to allow our shores to be a place where we will accept the poor, huddled masses who are tired and broken and in need of refuge? Or are we going to allow ourselves to be overtaken by fear and xenophobia and Islamophobia? I think we can be the city on the hill for the world. America has always been that. We are an immigrant nation, and I think that we should be allowing a great number of these refugees to come to our nation and to build better lives. Most of the people that I've met in the time that I've been here on Lesbos are amazing, amazing people. They're, they're not people that are going to be living on the streets and trying to milk the system of welfare. They're, they're doctors, they're nurses, they're teachers, they're engineers, some are professional athletes, okay? and they just want to have a better life. They are running from war and desperation. And again, we as Americans need to ask ourselves, are we going to show the world the best of what we are? Are we going to open our doors with open arms and welcome people? Does there have to be a process? Do we need to vet the people coming in to make sure that we protect ourselves and that we provide public safety? Absolutely. But again, in my experience, in the time here on Lesbos, the people that I've met are family people, they're professionals, they're educated, and they are willing to take part in the American dream that so many of our ancestors took part in and have allowed so many of us, like myself, to have great lives in America. I hope that all my fellow Americans will consider this as the debate rages on about how we can respond to this international refugee crisis that is hitting the shores of Europe every day. This is Jim Keady, Director of Educating for Justice, here on the front lines of the refugee crisis in Lesbos, Greece.